this guided meditation is designed to help you connect with the full hunter's moon in Aries happening after the harvest moon where we gathered and harvested our crops and now representing a time where we can see a little bit more clearly through the fields of our crops that we harvested and seeing what else we need to bring with us into the future, into the winter hibernation season. The moon shedding light and really giving us the ability to see if there's any additional things that we need to go after and get before we begin to hibernate for the winter season. So get yourself comfortable, as always, in either sitting down, laying down, whatever works best for you. Feel your body just decompressing in your chair or wherever you're laying. If you can, face your palms up towards the sky to indicate your openness to any new experiences or insights that will be ignited through this meditation. Taking a few deep breaths, centering within yourself, releasing any negative, heavier, burdensome energies that you may have picked up throughout your day or throughout your week. Really setting the intention with each breath to release any of this excess baggage to set the intention to reconnect with yourself, your core being, your true energy and nature. Feeling the energy of the air as you inhale into your lungs, filling your chest, your shoulders, and your body, reconnecting. And out through your mouth, releasing the excess. Feeling your body and your muscles relaxing, finding a more natural pace and rhythm. One that is your own, that is not influenced by anyone else. Whatever feels most natural to you. Feeling the energy flowing with ease through each of your muscles and every part of your body. Your mind, body, and soul, and spirit realigning. Stresses, tensions, worries, anxieties, weight floating away into the distance with every release.
reconnecting to yourself, your truest being. Taking one last deep breath. And pushing any last excesses out. Feel the lightness, the brightness in your body and in your mind as you release and let go. Feeling the depths of your soul, of your spirit, of your true being. Reconnecting to your core. The peace, the calmness, the ease. And when you're ready, visualize in your mind's eye, see yourself in a field, a field that once had crops, but that are now harvested. All the goals, the achievements, everything that you have worked towards that you have already harvested and grabbed with the previous full harvest moon the moon is glowing brightly in the sky above your head along with millions of stars really allowing you to see through the darkness of the night shedding its bright light this is your specific field of crops This is where your goals, your achievements, and the results you have worked to acquire all grow for you. And this is where you harvested all the hard work you put into your life in the last full moon. This field is specifically designed for you. And so if you haven't done this already, take a moment to reflect on the crops that you grew throughout the summer and the past year. The progress that you made, the things that you accomplished, the goals you pushed to see your way through. And if you haven't done it already, harvest those goals and those crops. The things that you deserve, the things that you put the work into that were now bearing the fruits of your labor. Think of what it was that you harvested during the last full moon. What did you decide to bring with you? And what were the crops that just didn't grow and that just aren't ready to come with you? That just don't work? That just aren't worth the energy? Take a moment to really center yourself and ground yourself in this 
of what you decided to harvest and what you will bring with you into your future. What these crops and this field represents to you. Take a moment here to reflect on this. Now that you have a better idea of what you have already worked towards and what you really harvested already, what you can just bring with you, what you can just grab and bring with you into your future, into the winter season, allow this feeling of pride, gratitude, and joy to fill you. Allow yourself to be proud of how far you've come and grateful for pushing through the obstacles that you pushed through. Allow yourself to be filled by this, providing you with inner strength and balance. A sense of wholeness within your own energy and your own body. Seeing how far it is that you've really come and really being proud of this. Allowing yourself to feel that joy, that gratitude that excitement, that happiness to fill you up. That you've di- you've pushed through the hard times to get to where you are now. And you can now bring this sense of joy and fulfillment and pride and strength with you wherever it is that you're trying to go in your future.
lighting you up with empathy, opening your heart, knowing that you're doing amazing in this moment right now. That even if you don't get anything more, you feel whole in all that you have accomplished and all that you have followed through on. Breathing in this feeling and really embracing it. The full moon is still shedding brightly above your head. Shedding its bright, luminous, beautiful light on you and the crops and the field around you. Allow the full moon to shine its bright light on your mind, your body, and your soul. Really allowing this energy to hit you and come through you. Feel it and embrace it. You can see it. Feel it hitting your skin and your body and your muscles. Are there any specific sensations that come along with that? Do you get any visuals as you get hit by this beam of beautiful, luminous light? This full moon is really about getting extra clear on how you want to move forward and specifically picking up on any last things that you want or need to bring with you into your future. These kind of things that we haven't really thought of, perhaps they are new goals from the achievements and the results that we got through the harvest moon where we harvested These additional goals and things that we want to bring with us that may be helpful for us in our future. The moon will be in Aries and so it's really that time of determination of going to get what we want and really determining what it is that we want. Maybe our definition of what we want has changed. Maybe it just needs to be tweaked a little bit based on the crops that we harvested in the full harvest moon. It's really about getting clear on what energies, thoughts, physical things, people, places, ideas, this new that's trying to come through, the evolution of your goals and what you want in your life. But what's really important about this full moon is to trust yourself, your own voice, and your intuition. Allow the moon to shed its light and energy on you and the harvested field around you. This is really an intuitive exercise with this full moon to trust what comes through in these next few minutes or moments And it might be a lot of new sensations, new visualizations, new ideas, but really about trusting that. Allowing the energy to still flow 
even as the new comes through. Taking a deep breath. It's now time to take a few moments here to really connect with this full moon and its energy, knowing that its intentions are of the highest and the brightest good. Open your mind and your subconscious to what is being shown to you right now. The moon could be showing you through an image that comes up in the sky. Perhaps you see an animal in the field. Maybe you get a sudden feeling or an idea pops up in your head or you just get this weird sensation coming through your body. Relax, detach, and allow your soul and your intuition to connect with this full moon and to let it show you what actions you need to take, what new is trying to come in. however the full moon is trying to show you this. Embrace the energy and see where it takes you. Where are you seeing yourself? What energy do you feel? Are there any symbols or animals that are appearing in your view? Open your mind, your soul, your heart, and your body to observe and allow.
receiving any last bits from the full moon, closing up any messages or insights, visuals, feelings, sensations. Take these last few moments to close up whatever is coming through. Thanking the full moon for whatever it showed you, for the insights and the messages, the intuitive hits. Thank your body, your mind, and your soul for opening up to be able to receive these messages. and thanking the field, your field of crops for showing you what you already have and maybe what new you should be embracing and allowing in your life. Slowly making your return back to your physical body, floating back into your physical reality, merging and remembering these insights, these messages this further connection to trusting yourself, your voice, and your intuition. Remembering what came through, whether through visuals, sensations, feelings, hearing. Reintegrating with your body Connecting to your heart center, your chest, your shoulders, your arms, elbows, wrists, hands and fingers, moving up your neck, up towards your head, maybe moving, stretching your neck a little bit. Moving down your torso, your abdomen, your hips, down your legs, your knees, your shins, your calves, ankles, heels, feet and toes. Fully recalibrating, re-emerging reconnecting all of this energy these messages these insights taking one last deep breath to fully embrace and reconnect and when you're ready you can open your eyes. If you have a moment and you have a piece of paper or something to write on, write down what you saw, what you felt, what you heard. No matter how crazy or ridiculous it might seem, 
These are ways of the full moon and, the intu- and your intuition of speaking to you. And though these messages may not make sense in this moment right now, you might find in the next few hours, the next few days, weeks, that these have deeper meaning in your life.